Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market leading stocks via our proprietary scans for the coming session. Uh, this is going to be for the ETFs. It's going to be for uh, Monday, June 23rd, 2014. Well, today was expiration day, so we're going to see some volume bumps uh, just, as, just because it's expiration day. Um, we're not going to see too many signals uh, as you is typical with uh, with expiration. Usually they do the, the price movement into and before expiration, not on the day of. So, so the ones that do show uh, show signals are going to be notable for that reason. Uh, I've got a volume bump in the diamonds. Well, that'll be uh, expiration related, but we do have a contra candle to go along with that, so we want to make note of that. But we don't have an overall bias here in the uh, in the broad market ETFs. Drilling down to the individual uh, individual sectors, we do have a couple of uh, couple of signals here. We've got an upside in IBB. Most of the uh, biotechs were actually very strong today. So I'll keep an eye on that. Also had volume associated with that. OIH had an extended day to the upside. We're winding up with a downside RPS and a volume bump. So that's always notable. As far as other outright deviations, don't really have any. Um, the TAN was uh, pretty strong today. The solar stocks have been in play late this week. I would give them uh, a couple of days to see how uh, the new option cycle treats them before getting too opinionated. Moving on to the commodities, uh, the GLD was pretty strong today, uh, uh, not because it did a lot of range expansion, but because it held the the, uh, the very very sharp gains from the day before. So that's kind of an kind of a, a uh, under the radar sign of strength. The uh, SLV was also strong. Silver is actually outpaced uh, gold a little bit as it does usually at the, at the end of a move. The DBC, the broad based uh, commodity following. Uh, ETF did have a volume bump. Not too much in the in the uh, in the bonds. The TLT did have a fairly strong session, though. Moving on to the foreign names, the EFA had a volume bump, but there's no signal there, and everything else is uh, trading uh, without extraordinary volume or without a signal or a deviation. Moving on to the specials, a uh, little bit biased, a little bit a little bit mixed up here. We've got a fair amount of of uh, long. Uh, buy side signals, both on the long and short side, which actually is is a uh, conflict. The DUG, uh, the the leverage short for the gold miners, is uh, showing volume here and is uh, starting to roll down a little bit. Uh, they've had a very extended run, so I'd expect that they need to uh, consolidate and correct a little bit. All right, folks. Here's a look at our watch list. What we want to take a look at is the uh, is the is the is the bar counts. See if we're getting close on any of them uh, the, in the uh, in the standard comb, we're actually getting close. We've got a 13 exhaustion in place in the spiders. We're getting close in the Qs. The diamonds and the MDY are both 10 days up, so they could fire this week with a uh, with an outright signal. Uh, the OAH has a 13 in place now uh, by the comber. It's getting close on the, uh, very close on the aggressive seeker, and the standard seeker is not far behind. The PPH is 13 bars up for both the standard and aggressive seekers, and, and uh, 11 bars up in the comber. The uh, XLE attracts the uh, the uh, oil oil uh, providing energy sectors uh, stocks is uh, pretty deep in the count as well, and we're deep in the count here in the XLK as well. Uh, the XLY could also fire with a 13 this week, though the uh, seeker is actually a little bit behind the comer. The comer is 11 days up there, so we could actually wind up with a, f a fair amount of exhaustion signals uh, this coming week which is definitely something that would uh, influence and color the market. So uh, be ready to, to uh, take appropriate action with that. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.